So this crop and product cost sheet is what I call the reality check sheet. And here's where you start to really understand that uh, you need to spend money to make money. So this is working, this includes both crops and products because both of them have expenses. Again, we're not sewing these blends, right? Uh, but we are using packaging for them. So uh, we're gonna find it all here. So there's some summary information here, the number of trays sewed, our growing medium, our tray size, uh, this all pulls from other sections. And here we can look at actual versus expected again, and we may find that useful. Again, actual, uh, some of the stuff is gonna stay and then some of it is gonna go. So, uh, and then we can do this by date as well. And you can see we've got that, the, just the, the full year in there. So with these numbers, we're gonna spend $6,400 on soil. Uh, we're doing all soil. We've got one mat in there. We've got speckled pea doing, doing mat. So we're spending, you know, $6,400 on soil. We are spending $4,400 on seed. You can see how it's all broken down there. We are spending $5,500 on small units, $1,400 on large units, and there's our total for uh, packaging and labels up there. So altogether, we're spending about 17,000, close to $18,000 uh, in, in costs for these. And this breaks it down by crop. So you can see we spend a lot on sunflower, but as you remember, we, we sell a lot of sunflower as well. And then this breaks down a cost per tray. So this is basically, you know, three bucks per tray for sunflower. Other ones are a little cheaper. Uh, and this is just basically, this is an average, right? And, and if we think about it, if you remember, uh, like the, some of these sunflower are going into our, our mix. And, and though, so we're paying the soil costs and the seed costs are kind of built into the mix as well. So the numbers are a bit deceptive, but they're good enough for what you need to know for your business. So let's take a look at um, labor. Now we haven't looked at labor yet. It's, it's coming, but it's, it, it feeds back into the sheet. And so this gives you a labor cost per, per tray as well. Now uh, it sets it at, uh, so right now the way labor is set up, it's $15.23 a tray. And this multiplier here is a way of assigning more time or less time to a specific crop. So arugula, for example, actually let's use radish. Radish is super quick to sow, super easy to maintain. You cut it and package it without any washing or spinning or anything. It's a very easy crop. It's not like a, and one being the average, it's below average time. I'm gonna put radish at 0.8. So the labor that goes into that tray is about 12.18 per tray. Sunflower, on the other hand, they need to be soaked and sanitized. They need to be sewed and it takes time to spread them out. Uh, maintenance isn't much more than radish, but uh, it's on par and harvesting takes more time because they need to be washed hulls need to be picked then they need to be spun and then they need to be um, then they need to be um, uh, dried as well so they're kind of like they're like 1.2 and other ones they might be varied a bit so speckled pea it's about a 0.9 and you know arugula and you know this is like this is like a 0.5 now, all in all, and I realize I have to put this in here, this still has to add up to one. Like this can't be, you, you can't be just losing work here. So these still need to, to, to add up properly. Uh, but what it's doing, it's giving you a better sense of where your labor is going. Like lots of labor going into sunflower, but not the live trays because they're, they're relatively easy. 0 0.6, 0 0.5 might've been a little uh, egregious. So uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in, actually let's do this in real time as well. I'm going to click this and go down here. And then we're going to do this. And this e equals sum of all these. Uh, no, it's average of all these, sorry. I know, I this is very unprofessional, I know, but it, I like, it just let's just do it now. And so we're going to do all these guys here. So our average here is 0.76, which means I've actually, I've, I've, I've kind of underestimated. And we're gonna go down here and I'm gonna make this a lighter so it stands out a little more. And then we're just gonna put our borders back in there. 
This is what I spent hours and hours doing to bring you this service. Okay, so this 0.77, it actually can't be that. It has to add up to one because one is basically the average. Let's just bring this up. Maybe this is actually 0.8. And this is 1.1, and oh no, I can go up with this one. Okay, so uh, oh, and this uh, I've got a zero in here. This is the thing, so this should actually be a one. There we go. So again, so maybe this is yeah, maybe radish isn't that easy. So 0 0.9, this is 0 0.85. So you're kind of guessing here, right? Like this is maybe 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, so. Little mistake, and this is maybe a 1.25. There we go. So, this is just kind of guessing, but I'm like, you know, sunflower just takes a lot more time. A spicy mix I'm putting in there because it's, it's, I have to mix things and measure them and figure it out. Pea is just cut and package. Radis, cut, cut and package. Arugula, cut and package, but the cutting takes a little longer, so that's about an average. Sunflower, I don't really have to do anything for harvesting, it's all in the, um, it's all in the pre-production. So as long as this adds up to one, this gives me a better sense of like, oh, like it's, you know, producing radish and pea, really, that's where that's where the savings are at. Gonna need more labor for sunflower. So it gives you more insights into your into your system. Now our overhead here is 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 accounted for. And here we get a total cost per tray. So here it According to these calculations, it costs us $27 to produce a tray of sunflower. Now that $30 tray is only giving you about $3 of profit. Now, so you're clear, this labor includes your labor as well. You are being paid to do this work. So $3 per tray in profit, if it's a $30 tray, is to your business. You've been paid, and that's what's really important here. So when we look at our margins and whether you're getting, you know, if you're just making, if your profit is $5,000, that's $5,000 that goes to the business after you and all your staff and all your expenses have been paid. So that's important to understand here. So again, this is kind of an inflated cost because we played with this number here and we just keep it at one, we see that it's, it's, it's much lower. So, um, but I think it's important to understand where your time goes because that's going to help you with things. And a big thing for us is always, what do we harvest and, and then how do we time our staff coming in to help out with sunflower because it takes so long. So this is an important tool in understanding that stuff. So this is an important sheet and really gives you a sense of, of how your costs break down and, and apply to your different crops. So, and we're producing lots of trays, so this, this adds up. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our wages and labor calculator together then we're going to take a look at our season totals. And with this model that I've laid out and all these very realistic numbers, let's see what our, our, our season looks like.